Hi Leo, Leo Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and on this video we are going to dive deep into your 2020 yearly tarot reading forecast and this will only give you guys a general overview on what you can expect on your year ahead so you can know what to expect, anticipate and prepare for. But no, this is still just a general reading so the top that we are going to be undergoing here are just the energies in place alone available for you for 2020. So how this works is that I pull one card per month and these are the main energies in store for you. So without any further ado, let's talk about your January. You have the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is more of a reflection phase balancing things maybe there is a situation that there um a need for a decision of some kind there is something that you might be concentrating on thinking about there is something that you are in debate with maybe a decision that um that is coming from december of 2019 that needs to be resolved a situation that needs to be resolved or an upcoming or ongoing problem that needs some form of resolution is what I'm picking up with this card. So regardless what that is, I kind of feel that you know you, you are now in that situation we're in. You feel like you need to change. You feel like something has to happen. The stalemate of a situation that you are going through right now um, is so last year. It needs to change. Something in your life needs to change. And this is what you are debating upon. So as we move into February, you do have this page of swords. And this can still be about you still thinking about this issue at hand. But I kind of feel that around February, you have already made a first step. You have already changed direction in your life. But there are things that, you know, that is making you think about the past. Think about the decision that you're making. Have I made the right choice or have I not? There is a question in relation to that. Some form of debate is coming through. Also, this is about you. Maybe you're being too suspicious with things. There is something that you are not trusting around February. Or this could be a situation wherein you are just thinking about things and maybe you are also being critical on yourself. This can also be a situation wherein you are too much guarded at this time. You are too guarded of the people around you, whether they are new or old. There is something that you are guarding yourself away from is what I'm getting here. The page of source is also... All pages in general are all about news and messages. So there could be something of a news that comes into you. Maybe a serious type of message. Or a message that you have been waiting for or anticipating could come around the month of February. On March, we do have this Queen of Wands showing up. So you might be get, getting your confidence back. You are learning from mistakes and right now you are at the point wherein you are not the type of person that is going to to beg anyone for attention. By just being yourself, you are going to attract people in your life. This can be, you know, a lot of wisdom based from past experiences. This can also be a situation wherein someone enters your life that can really um, give you some form of direction on what you should do with your life. This can be a very knowledgeable person or someone that can really help you be more optimistic in your life again. Someone is going to enter your life that brings joy to you once again or you know you are there's something about your ego that is going to come alive once again so if you have been depressed the past few months or even last year 
this is the month that you know can change things for you march of 2020 as you go over to april you do have this judgment card over here and this is about some form of finality in your life some form of conclusions some form of getting together with people you know so i kind of feel that this could be a timer in a final result of something comes to light so that you will be able to close that chapter, whatever it is. Whenever a judgment card comes, there is some form of important information that is coming through here. So it could be a conclusion, a news, a settlement is possible during this time. But eventually though, I kind of feel that this is about giving you some form of good news to come. But it is also that uh, energy we're in. You know something is about to enter your life. Something is about to happen. But maybe it's not yet happening. So it's like that point of your life we're in. You're about to enter the last phase of a certain situation. It's about to end but not yet ending. So it's, it's like a very critical time we're in. Caution is advice, and um, it's not really the best time to take any risk. So don't initiate things during this time. It's better to let people come to you. It's better to, to wait things out, those kinds of things, and let people decide on things for you if possible. Because this is like a tricky time for you. As it is the card that can bear you gifts and bear you um, consequences based on your actions, that kind of situation, if that makes sense. So as we move on to May, we do have the Two of Cups, and this is all about partnerships. I'm not seeing the camera right now, so I hope you guys are seeing the, the images of the card. So you do have the Two of Cups, and this is all about partnerships. Maybe you are going to be entering a partnership or this is just a time wherein you are focusing on your partner, love life or family, whoever it is. But whenever whenever the two of cup comes into place, this is not about a group of people. This is about a partnership that is one on one. So even if this is about a family, this is about a specific person in your family. So it's not about your family per se. Uh, this is about a specific person. So a connection with the specific person is in the picture here. Maybe you are focusing with that person or there is something for some form of contracts alignment that is about to start during the month of May. As we go over to June, we do have this five of pentacles. So... The Five of Pentacles can be a, a point wherein you are in lack of money or there is a situation that makes you feel left out in the cold or maybe you are the one who is saying goodbye to someone else or you are the one that is treating someone out in the cold or something like that. This can also be a situation wherein you are trying to get by, trying to survive the month for whatever reason trying to to hold on to a situation that may not be favorable for you that kind of energy and number fives in general are all about disruption so there could be sudden changes in your finances sudden changes in your relationships that can be quite challenging um but I pretty much like the Five of Pentacles, especially with the Rider Waite Five of Pentacles. I like the fact that they are together. Um, and even though it's cold outside, they're still together. Even though they are crippled and having a hard time to, to walk in the snow and everything like that. They're still, they're still trying their best to get by. So this is like the energy of wanting to be with someone or wanting to work on a situation despite the difficulties being there with someone for someone through thick and thin so that's basically why i pretty much like this card 
Now, as we go over to July, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, the Eight of Cups. So this is about um, maybe someone is leaving your life or maybe you are making a decision to leave a certain scenario. This is a situation that maybe you are going to be walking away from something that is not good for you anymore. Or maybe you are having a lot of, you know, I don't know. Um, whenever the Eight of Cups come, it's like a temporary retreat is what I'm picking up with this, with this card. There's always a temporary retreat. So maybe you just need to find the truth. There is something that you need to reflect up upon. And it doesn't mean that you are going to leave uh, your emotions or your feelings as a whole. I kind of feel that maybe you just need to do a quick detour um, to figure things out. So it could be a very spiritual time as well for you. And also emotional at the same time. So as we go over to August, uh, we have the Moon card showing up. Actually, uh, the Eight of Cups and the Moon fell together when I was doing this card um, reading for Leo. So maybe they are talking to each other. Um, it could be very intuitive time for you, very emotional time. Also, whenever the moon card comes up, it's like something is really going to happen for you. I don't know what. And in terms of love, though, whenever the moon comes up, it's like you always get to meet someone. Whether it's a one-night stand or someone, something long-term or anything like that, there is some form of attraction or sexual indication with the moon card. So I'm not saying that this is what's going to happen for you guys, but hey, it's possible. All I know is that, you know, with this watery energies of July and August, I, I would say that it's going to be a very emotional time for you. Wherein it's going to make you a lot passionate with things, especially if you're a Leo. So Leo is a very... Um, passionate sign and when it comes to the water energy this can make you express things in such a bigger and dramatic way so um yeah um, i kind of feel like this is the month we're in um you need to pay attention in on whatever happens to you i kind of feel that there are lessons that you can experience with it so for september we do have this five of wands so this can be a form of argument so if so if this is an argument you need to be careful because you are emotional you have been emotional the past few months as being shown here so this is going to make you um very argumentative with the people around you you might be saying things um because you have been triggered in a very emotional and passionate way so conflict um, is prominent here. This can also be an inner conflict. You don't need to always be fighting with people whenever this card comes up. This can be, you know, you are having an emotional or inner conflict in you. Maybe because there is something that is not satisfying to you. And, you know, sometimes you just need answers. And this is the month wherein if you are confused with life, if there is something that um, I don't know. If there is something you want answers with, I kind of feel this is the month wherein you are going to initiate something to get the answers, regardless what, how you are going to take action in it. It's like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but regardless of the risk, of a, a situation or a, a relationship you are going to fight your way through to get the answers to get some form of clarity in your life basically so as we go over to october you do have a lover's card so this the lovers is all about choices and decisions sometimes a love affair as well could be coming into your life it's actually very interesting because I do believe in 
card spreads and layouts and if you guys can see we have the lovers here the judgment here and the two of cups over here so in cardamancy and fortune telling of ancient times they do believe in the near and far um, setup of the card so i kind of feel that this lover's card could be telling us about an important relationship that needs some form of decision making so maybe you are about to start a new venture with someone in your life a special person in your life this can also be a marriage as well with that judgment card and the lover's card and two of cups there maybe you are about to get married or wanting to you know have that um, partnership connection with someone in a very um, in a very serious way you know it has more commitment to things and um, yeah there is that energy remember that the lover's card is all about decision making so maybe you are about to make a decision about relationships in your life this could be related to work love life or your friends there is a decision on a certain connection that you have that needs to be finalized, I would say. So as we go over to November, we do have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is all about really powerful new beginning because it is something that you can really initiate um, from scratch and it can also indicate some form of power struggles so but i would say that the ace of swords is can be a powerful message a new message that can come into your life it's like it's something that is cutting through all the confusions that you have been having so there could be cold hard truth that you are going to be receiving during this time but it also will pave way to all the confusions that you have been having for the past months so from the layout the of the cards here there is a possibility that the issues that you are go undergoing are already existing even before 2020 but regardless of what um, you are going through right now or within 2020 this card is going to help you clear every confusion that you are undergoing and have been experiencing and this really will mark the new beginning of your new of the cycle of a certain situation a certain relationship those kinds of things and the really wonderful thing here is that you do have this four of wands and this is about partnerships and alliances that um ends up in a happy and happy state you know there's a lot of celebrations in getting together happy alliances is basically the theme here so um your year can be quite challenging it has its ups and downs but the most important thing here is that you know at the end of the day everything is going to balance out you will find answers from the things that you are seeking on there are hard work but at the end it's something that can really make you happy and give you some form of stability in your life which is always a very wonderful thing now for your advice card, you do have this Queen of Swords. So this is telling you that um, do not prolong things. Do not, if there are, if there is a situation that is quite unfair that is going on in your life, uh, maybe in the past few months, past few years, or even if during 2020, this card is telling you that, you know, you need to take ownership you need to initiate things you need to take action you don't have to wait for someone else to do the decision making for you you are the one who are who is going to you know i think the best way i can explain this is like it's okay to say no it's okay to be more dominant 
in this situation. So this is not really telling you to initiate something, but it's telling you to draw the line on what is really right and what is really wrong. Do not prolong unhealthy situations in your life. Don't prolong unhealthy boundaries in your life. And when I was channeling this message and talking to you guys here on the video, I actually had that vision of a man and a woman hugging together very passionately. Um, so maybe I'm tuning in with a relationship, a very passionate relationship, but maybe unhealthy. So this is like telling us to draw the line. And even if you draw the line, this, this, this does not really mean a breakup or anything like that. This can all... Can, can just mean that you are now welcoming a healthy relationship. You know, you can be in a very passionate relationship and make it all healthy. You know, healthy boundaries. You can be your own person, even with that person, even with that strong connection, even with your soulmate, even with your twin flames or anything like that. You just need to balance things out and learn how to say no and learn how you should be communicating with people. Should you be very harsh or should you be speaking your truth with, an, with, a, with some form of gentleness in you? Those kinds of things are going to be quite prominent and important for you for the year of 2020. So, um, yeah, thank you, Leos. And this is your reading for the 2020 yearly tower reading forecast. And if you'd like a more personal look on your situation, you can contact me or go to my website in the stars by chrissy.com slash services. I do have a lot of offers right there. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching with me and I'll see you guys on my next video.